Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here. Today's video update is all about ghosts. Um, Reaper makes an extensive line of ghosts and undead, and of course they do because they've been out for, you know, they've been making miniatures for, I don't know, 20, 20 years now maybe? Um, so because of that, they just have a ton of stuff in stock, and their sculpts, because they're fantasy sculpts, sci-fi sculpts, they don't really, you know, there's never not a need for them. There's always a need for good ghosts. So the ones that they made 20 years ago are still very relevant. Um, as such, uh, these guys are some of my favorites, so we'll, we'll start off with these ones first. These three are just called ghosts on the Reaper website. You've got a ghost warrior over here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in. This ghostly queen, and of course the counterpart, the ghostly king. Let's see if I can't move him into the light a little bit better. So I paint these guys with a four-step highlighting um, technique. It's all airbrush. The brush never touches these guys. Um, so I, I prime them up. Uh, actually with black, and then I layer on successive layers of purple, and then deep blues, and then light blues, and then finally sort of a, a mix of blue and white to kind of get this, this upper highlight. I do it in a zenithal style, but I also find a few areas on the model, a few points that I want to emphasize, and I just kind of saturate them with color. Um, usually they're outlying points like cloaks and that sort of thing. You can see here the cloak is really hit really well. The tops of her crown are hit well. And then this is Lurian. Lurian is probably my favorite ghost from the Reaper line. She's just a beautiful figure. I think she's technically a banshee, but she may be a ghost. I'm not for sure. She's one or the other. Uh, either way, I just think she's great, and I painted her with the same technique. I put these guys up on eBay because they always sell. There's, ooh, there's always somebody that needs a ghost or an ethereal character for their game. So I put them up on eBay to sell. So if you like them, be sure to pick them up. They go for, you know, just a nickel, and just a handful, really. They're not expensive. Um, and they're fun, and they're evocative, and you can always use a ghost or an undead in your game. He could count as a wraith. He could count it as some sort of, like, evil spirit or a haunt or whatever. Um, so grab one or two of them for your game. Uh, if you want to see these done in a bigger army, let us know in the comment section. We're really thinking about jumping back into Age of Sigmar. Uh, we loved, I love um, the, uh, the Vampire Count's range. I just think they're beautiful. And I would love to do an army with them. Um, and I think this may be a good way to sort of easily do it. So I'm playing with it. I'm, I'm chewing on it. But if you'd like to see that, comment in the section below. Um, if you're interested in commission, contact us at info at whitemetalgames.com. And until next time, put your minis where your mouth is. Whoa.